Well, uh, everybody, welcome uh, to the ceremony today. We're really proud to uh, this moment for Laura. We're very honored to be part of this. Uh, and I just wanted to welcome all of you. Uh, representing Orange High School, we have Mr. Johnson and myself, and Laura, of course, yes, <laughs> most definitely Laura. And uh, as part of her educational experience, uh, we actually have her elementary music teacher, Mr. Mitchell, uh, joining us today. Uh, we have uh, Ms. McClure, who was her private uh, instructor. Also, Dr. Feldman, who uh, will be one of her professors at uh, UNC Chapel Hill, uh, joining us today. We're also joined by her parents, uh, John and Beverly Garcia, as well as her grandmother, Terry Garcia. So uh, let's welcome everybody. So it has been an absolute joy to teach Laura over the past couple years, and Dr. Feldman, if you haven't seen her conduct, she's okay. one of the uh, best student conductors, and I'm not talking about just on the field with uh, yeah. and marching, uh, just across the board. She's really, really talented in so many ways. It's been an absolute joy working with you, Laura. I'm really proud of you and this moment and everything that you've accomplished. So, uh, Mr. Johnson, would you like to say something? Yeah, just, congratulations, Laura, on your accomplishments. This is awesome. I got an opportunity to speak to you, I guess, one day last week about it. Um, you talked to me a little bit about some of the ups and downs and what a beautiful blessing this is. We're very proud of you. And what's really symbolic about this whole situation, like all the times we allow athletes to do signing. So when Dad emailed, I was like, yes. This is the type of thing that we need to be doing because everything is important at Orange High School, right? Like the arts, academics, athletics, all of it is important. So again, thank you for this symbolic gesture. Thank you for reaching out. Truly, truly appreciate it. And good luck on your next steps. Thank you. No problem. Uh, I've been Laura's saxophone teacher for since probably three years, I guess, with the pandemic having been on. It seems like it could be a century. Uh, <laughs> But uh, she's been, she's just a joy. I, I'm, I'm been so grateful to get to work with her. Um, she's a student, as you all know, that has uh, a work ethic unlike maybe any saxophone student I've had in, in many years of teaching. So congratulations, Laura, we're really excited for you. Uh, well, I want to second your thought that, like, I kind of want to live stream the live stream because <laughs> it's, it's rare that you see this happen. And I mean, I love athletics as much as the next person, but. Uh, especially knowing that Laura wants to become a teacher, that's a big part of what she's going to be doing. The impact that that has is so much greater in some ways than athletics, uh, in terms of how it uh, you know affects people. Uh, as teachers, we often talk about sort of, oh, like your your student, like like they do your children, and then like your children have children and your grandchildren. So like you know you're going to be able to get to see and you're going to be able to see not only yourself and her, but also yourself and her in your and her students. And that's such a great lineage. Um, and, you know, we have, just so you know, the Keenan Music Scholarship uh, is, we have a 200 plus applicants and we only offer four per year. And it's not for saxophonists, it's you know, you're competing against violinists and pianists and trombonists and every other, every field. And so it's incredibly competitive, but we were so impressed with Laura's um, Kind of maturity and musicianship and um, her sense of pitch um, and her kind of vision for, for being a performer teacher scholar which is what the keenan music scholarship is about that um, it was such an obvious decision for us to to forward it to her so um, anyway i i've not been her teacher for very long um, but i look forward to four plus years of kind of getting to know her watching her blossom and seeing what she adds to music and what she adds to the profession. So congratulations. And it's kind of fun seeing this in person because we only usually see digital versions of this. So I'm excited to see it. So congratulations. Thank you. Um, I'm exceptionally proud of everything that she has accomplished. And uh, having the chance to see her on the field and then see her again in the classroom, seeing her conduct, and remembering where she was and where she started. I only expect to see that kind of growth uh, continuously through your career. And uh, one day, I think more than just this lobby will be cheering for you. 
there'll be a lot of people just very thankful for everything that you'll accomplish in your life. Thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll start by just saying, Laura, how much we love you and how proud we are of you. You didn't have to win the scholarship for us to be proud of you. We're just proud of the young woman that you've become. And every day you do things from the heart that make us proud of who you are. Winning the scholarship is like icing on the cake for, for this moment. And we are excited to see what you do in the next four years of your lifetime. Um, you've always been a musician at heart and started very young. And um, we just can't wait to see what happens next. We're, we're very proud of you. Your whole family is very proud of you. In, including your grandfather, and if he were here, he would he would be right on the front row too, uh, cheering you on. Um, proud of your music accomplishments, but more proud of the person you've become. Can I say it's super cool that you're all here, and even though we can only see the top third of your faces, we know that you care and engage just from your eyes, and that's very nice to see, like the community that's that that you've all created together. So. Like I'm kind of watching people, and they're like, you, you think people would be like, Ugh, and, and you're not, and that's that's just really cool. That's also a credit to you. So. <laughs> you're surrounded by your family your teachers and your friends. Is there anything that you would like to say before you sign? Yeah, I'd just like to say first to everyone here, thank you so much for being here. I really couldn't have done it without any of you. I've felt so much love and support throughout my high school career from all of you. And thank you for helping me make this happen. And to all my teachers and everyone, I really couldn't have done this without you, especially you, Lisa McClure. It's been just a joy to study under you. And I'm so grateful for and of course my parents so nice enough to uh, provide some refreshments for us. So uh, thank you. We have uh, Jennifer and Michelle, uh, part of our boosters. So thank you guys for uh, coming out and showing support. And uh, we have some light refreshments outside. So thank you.